My name is Wendy Patrick, and this devotional is entitled, It Starts With Your Mind. We're going to talk about 2 Corinthians 10, 11. Now, many of you may have heard this wisdom throughout our lives. Hopefully, you realize how important this is when it comes to our faith and our ability to use our mind to strengthen our walk with God and to withstand the lures of the world, the false view of the world. Now, in this particular verse, Paul is speaking about the difficulties they experienced in Asia. But although they were under great pressure, far beyond their ability to endure, God came to the rescue. Paul says he has delivered us from such a deadly peril and will deliver us again. On him we have set our hope that he will continue to deliver us as you help us by your prayers. Then we will give thanks on behalf of the gracious favor granted us in answer to the prayers of many. Now, passages like this are throughout the Bible. This is a particularly important one because of the serious danger that was faced by Paul and his companions at the time he wrote it. We're told in verses 8 through 9 that their lives were in danger. It doesn't get more dangerous than that. In verse 10, Paul tells us that God delivered us from such a deadly peril and will deliver us again. So we think about that, and we think about God and his saving grace in the right way in the correct way, it all starts with our mind because that's what governs our thoughts and our behavior. Now you've also no doubt heard, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Some people say garbage in, garbage out. Maybe your children's teachers still say that. Your mind is as good as what you fill it with. And a large part of that is true because the way we think and act is based on the information we learn, the things that we're exposed to. So what are you filling your mind with? If you're spending a lot of time in the Word, reading the Bible with all its wisdom, attending church, home fellowship, talking with other Christians, you'll likely have a biblical frame of mind and be well equipped to handle the storms of life because the Bible is a book of solutions. If you fill your mind with God's wisdom, you will probably be able to counter life's problems with these biblical solutions. Can you imagine a life without knowledge of all the wonderful things about God and heaven and love and happiness and hope? How different would your life be? How different would your outlook be, your state of mind? Now, how about taking the time right now to think of someone who might not have a mind filled with wholesome things, who might not know the gospel? What a blessing it would be for you to share the good news with someone like that. Give them something wholesome wholesome to fill their mind with because the worldly mind is unprepared for any kind of trouble because it has no idea where to turn or what to do when trouble hits. Have you heard the phrase, what would Jesus do? It's overused nowadays, but the gist of it is when you face trouble in your lives, as Paul did in that second Corinthians passage, you will know what to do. And more importantly, even if you don't know what to do, you will know where to look and you will know that God will take care of it. The Bible isn't a series of inspirational sayings like those dainty little books you pick up at the checkout counter of the grocery store. It's a collection of promises. It's power. It's the power to know what to do when storms hit, when things happen in your life, to know the right way to think because you have the answer key. And I pray that you share that with others in your life who don't. And Lord, we pray together for the strength to do exactly that. May you bless us richly this week and help us to continue to fill our mind with your promises and your blessings and be able to discern your voice from all others. And please strengthen those that we know and allow them to be able to meet you as well right where they are. And we pray for each of them and that we may be the vessel to share your good news. And it is in your glorious name we pray. Amen.